are you doing? Okay. Okay. How are you? Okay. So exciting day. Oh my gosh. So welcome to the food lab. We're going to talk about space food and some of the things that we do here. And um, please ask questions. I put some of the food products on the table. And right, you guys are taking pictures. Um, and again, you can ask me about those. There's some more up here. We've got some of the examples of the Russian food and the European Space Agency food and the Jap uh, Japanese space food too. Um, so uh, th those are uh, some of the folks of European Space Agency and JAXA. They actually send food here and we'll ship those out too. But all the food is um, prepared and uh, shipped from here. The crew members will um, actually come here and we'll start off by doing a what we call a food session with them. And so they will come in and in four days they will try um, samples of all of our food that we have available for, um, for tasting. And that is to help them uh, become familiar with our foods that are available um, in their uh, stand, what we call the standard menu. That's the pantry style standard menu that's on orbit. Um, and this is a, uh, we call it pantry style, is uh, so they can, um, they all share from the, from the food system. So, and there's eight different categories. We have, um, uh, for example, meat and fish. We have um, the uh, sweets and snacks, and um, we also have soups. We have everything you can think of. Um, there was several years back in, um, that we went through a phase and we were developing a lot of the food products and increasing the uh, variety of the food system. Because as you may have heard, um, the longer durations, think about if you're at home, you open the pantry and you keep looking at the pantry, it doesn't change, but you want it to change and it's the same old food. Okay, think about being up there and you just, you know, same old food. So variety is very important and we remind crew about this. Um, and so we also, some crew members will get creative um, will they blend some things like we and there's some great YouTubes um, there's some crew members uh, there was one uh, lady who uh, it was Super Bowl and so she made some mixes with some of the products combining them make a dip you know so different things like that um, you can get creative um, I, I guess I should mention too um, I'll go into the different types of products uh, that we have but tortillas are your um, your bread, your everything on orbit. Um, so you put everything in a tor tortilla. You put eggs and sausage, you put your fajitas, everything goes on a tortilla. Um, so that is one of our staple products on orbit. Um, kind of skipping around a little bit, but let me go back to, uh, so the crew come here and um, they have uh, what they call, I'm sorry, I'm looking over here because this is where they oh, yeah. sit, right here. <laughs> You're in the exact place where the crew comes. That's why I'm looking over there. Tortillas. Here's the tortillas. Thank you. Do you want to hold them? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're tag teaming. You are lucky today. <laughs> so, okay. So the crew members come right here. Yeah. And um, they will try all the different foods. And again, they will score these foods on what we call a hedonic scale. And um, they will rate the foods, um, you know, to give them an idea if they like it or if they don't like it, what to expect. And um, they will also come back at a later date, and they will meet with me, because I would meet with them to discuss their crew preference containers. So they will get their standard, move, uh, standard food containers that will be on orbit for everybody to share. We also send um, containers that have condiments. So we actually do full-size condiments now, like your ketchup bottle, your mustard bottle, because we used to do the little packets for Space Shuttle. Well, over time, those little guys would just delaminate and leak. So um, we moved to actually full-size ketchup, mustard, um, mayo, hot sauce, and don't forget hot sauce. Hot sauce is still sriracha. sriracha. And Tabasco, we still um, send Tabasco. And oh, the sidebar, um, for some of you people that have been around older, we still fly tang. So, anybody has a tang is. A lot of people don't know what tang is. Yeah. I just, you know, the younger ones, sorry. And it's like, we still fly tang, and they're like, okay. But do they drink it? Yes, they okay. do. Okay. But, uh, they do. But also, I'll make a note on that, too, is um, we've moved to, uh, we, we send coffee, we call them coffee tea preference containers, but um, they can choose whatever coffees they like or tea. So, It'd be amazed how much coffee you know they like to send so or like to take it's their personal preference 
So um, back to uh, so we got standard menu containers. We got condiment containers. We also have what we call the um, nutrition protein bar. Um, we call it the the bar bob, nutrition bar bob. And so those are like your kind bars. And, and you know, to give you an example, um, different protein bars. We have a dietitian on staff and she goes through and picks an assortment of bars and um, we will send those up. And those are great for grab and go. When they're really busy, they can grab those and, and just eat on the run, kind of them, eat on the fly, whatever I'm like. <laughs> so anyway, um, so those are some of the different options they have. Now, in addition to those, like I was mentioning, we have the group preference. So they come in here and I talk to them, it's like, okay, so you can take some of the, th you know, think about how, you know, away from the standard menu, some different things you want to take to fill in with that standard menu to increase your variety. So they may take a, a lot of healthier items like some of the, you know, um, different fish products or, or tuna products, like examples like tuna creations, those type of products are, are great. Another, you know, supplement and grab and go. And so um, they can, they even can take chocolate, they can take gummy bears, um, they can take an assortment of things. And we really encourage them, okay, think about it. You know, when you go to a store, what do you get? What do you like to snack? Trail mix, different nuts. Um, how do you want to supplement um, to increase your variety? Or things you love, you know, today. Like if, you know, if you start the trail mix you love, then we'll, we'll get that product. And also, everything goes through microbiological testing. So we want to make sure the system is safe. So we do all the testing on the products, and if it's, you know, green light, good to go, then we'll go ahead and apply them. So this is our beverages. This is an example of our beverages. So it's, it's powder. Um, I know there's some on the table. Um, it's instant. Um, we stopped freeze drying water a long time ago. So yeah, we don't do that anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. You, uh -huh. <laughs> you can't freeze dry water. You have nothing. So, um, so this is a beverage, and at the top is what we call a septum. So that little septum is a little full top, and so we have this little straw device, very simple, and you pump that into the uh, top there, and then you have a clamp, because when you get done drinking, you don't want that excess liquid to go all over the place. And again, you may have seen some videos, great videos online about this. But um, so that's our beverage system. And so we can send different, if it's an instant powder, like, you know, all the instant drink for them. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 It's actually really cool. Drink out of mm -hmm. yeah. There's Nash Ron, uh, Ron Pettit, who created this little cup, and it's, it has, it's, it's based on some physics. And um, yeah, it's a great video. And then, yeah, you can just like drink can out of it. Because they can spit it and all the stuff inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something. He's like um, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Like, he, <laughs> he's funny. Like, oh my gosh, he's crazy. I've heard of Yes, yes. You know, these are just simple, plain, and you can mix uh, a variety of items with it. You could add hot sauce, you could change it up. Um, <clears throat> ketchup, whatever you want to keep those in the desk. So we have, everybody knows these, candy coated chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> so these are, you know, we know what these are. Um, so we have the plain ones, the peanut, and the, the almond. Actually, just more to do with cookies. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah, you can see them. Build store by. We have a method, this is called thermostabilize, and so this is just like um, it's heat preservation, and so it's just like your canned food items on the shelf, except it's a pouch, or like the MREs, but ours are better. <laughs> so, I, so these are basically de developed from scratch. We don't put a lot of preservatives in there. Um, we've gone through the process of um, making recipes and coming up with, looking at different areas. When we started making a lot of new products, where there might be some holes. So, okay, we, you know, so we need some more soups on the program. So we added like minestrone soup or lentil soup. Um, we have curried pumpkin soup. And so, um, and then we also have our meat products. We have um, fajita, beef fajita, chicken fajita. We have a uh, chicken. Um, and then we also have different vegetables. And you saw some of the spicy green beans and some of the butternut squash. So we're, we're trying to keep up with some of the new trends, some of the new healthier things plugging in some of the omegas, um, you know, trying to, we got to think about future missions and, you know, sustaining a food system that's healthy, provides you nutrition, and, you know, because this guy's got to eat, keep going. So they removed all the water, but the cellular structure of the product is still there, so you can add water back in. 
So this is freeze dried. So when you send that message out there, it's freeze dried. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate when I hear, you know, it's dehydrated food. No, it's freeze dried. So we have a variety of food products that are freeze dried here. And we actually have two very large freeze dryers and we process all the food here. Um, this is a freeze dryer right there. And so um, it's just got several shelves. Um, and when it comes to arguments and the RN capsule, mm -hmm. what are the plans uh, in terms of food for the crew? Um, that's very fluid right now. <laughs> so um, there is a, using our standard food system. Um, now, there is, in terms of different missions, it may be warmed or it may be cold. So it's, it's wood, it's, it's changing. But um, we do, we'll be utilizing our standard food system. There was a period of time um, that we thought that sodium was contributing to some issues like ocular vision problems yeah. and some other things. And so we went through a phase where we were reducing the sodium in all of our products, it's like 20, 2010, 2009, somewhere in there. So we did a big push to reduce a lot of sodium in, in our products, but the, I mean, the challenge is, okay, we're gonna reduce sodium, but sodium makes food taste good too. Yeah. So, and it also does other things, for example, like chicken, chicken's brined. Well, it gives you that, um, what's the word? That moist, you know, over time, if you don't have that brine, your chicken's gonna get dry. So we we found some of those challenges over time too, after a few years where we were looking at our products, and it's like, oh, it's not the same. So we had to um, look at different um, chicken products and increase some of the sodium in there. But but yes, our goal was to reduce the sodium. Um, and also now uh, we put the sodium on there so if crew choose so they can you know, have that information. And so they do have nutritional information available to them because as you can see on here, there's a barcode. Mm -hmm. And so they, on Orbit they have a nutritional, um, nutrition database and so they can scan all their information in so they can see what they're eating, how many calories they're getting. If um, they need more calories, then the flight docs can work with them to increase their calorie intake. Um, and so, yeah, so we do have that too. Are their meals measured through the flight doctors every day or the nutritionists every um, day? I don't know, to be honest with you, how they measure it. I think it's per person. Yeah. It's dependent on the person themselves and probably how they want to do it. Um, yeah, I can honestly answer that question. I just know we provide the food and we provide a healthy system <laughs> and, so, and options to choose yeah. from to, you know, for their caloric intake. Um, but yeah, so otherwise just day-to-day -day operations they're, you know, eating. Um, most crew are big on breakfast. It seems like our challenge is, you know, having enough eggs up there because I love, like, some people are big egg eaters, some people are big cereal eaters or granola, so it can change. Now we tell crew if they're coming, it's like, okay, they gotta have, you know, eggs or this certain cereal every day, then we would put some of those in the crew preference container. Mm -hmm. Now we can't 100% just because allotment um, provide one for every day, but we make it a big effort to do that. And our goal is to pre-position the containers before they get there, so they have all their food. And we usually put it on two different vehicles, um, SpaceX or the um, NG in Northrop Grumman. Grum. And so, all their food will be up there, and once they get there, they'll have everything available, so yeah. I think, does someone back there have a question? Yeah. yeah. Um, what is the strangest food request you've got? <laughs> <laughs> the strangest, oh my gosh. I guess it's, I guess it's culture, it just depends. Um, that's a tough one. I mean, you know, some people have taken like the canned, like squid or canned mussels. Now to me, that would be strange. I mean, I know yeah. some people like mussels and all. Um, you know, we send a lot of fish, like mackerel, and, and you would, I, it's not strange, but if you think about being up there and all the fish smell, you're like, oh. you know, that could be crazy. But I guess that might be the strangest thing I can think of top of my head. Can cook pizzas up there? Yes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I actually came up with this pizza kit, and so what it is, it's um, like the bubbly pizza. So you get that, and there's actually some, um, pizza sauce, it's in a, it looks like a ketchup bottle. You can get that and you can squeeze the sauce on and then we'll send, um, I've sent pepperoni. So they, they go for microbiological testing and so they pass and we send pepperoni. We send, I've sent turkey pepperoni, regular pepperoni. Okay. So we send that up and then um, you can also, um, I've seen some pouch like grilled veggie, veggies or grilled peppers or there's also, um, I mean, if you wanted to put sardines or, uh, you know, whatever, something like that on there, you can. Or I've seen, uh, have you ever seen those little marinated, um, what's it called?
cauliflower and artichokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put, I set those up before, because you can, and always send olives, because you can buy the little olives. You know, all those different things, you, they're shelf stable, you see in the stores, you can send things like that. So you can make a little pizza like that. Um, there's a lentil soup, I really like that. We have a curry pumpkin soup, that's good. There's, um, it's kind of, it's a chicken corn and black bean. I like that one, because I created it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, just a good little staple to eat. And oh, oh, we do have this chocolate pudding cake. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> starting to stabilize. Oh yeah, we're having a bad day. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, from that up, that's good, that's good.